be gentle when you're sliding it in. That's what she said. Sorry. Hello friends and enemies. No, I am not putting on a voice for dramatic effect. I'm getting over the flu, so it sounds like I've been smoking five packs a day for the past 80 years. I assure you, I have not. Only two packs a day for the last 80 years. Anyway, my terrible demon voice only lends more atmosphere to today's review because we're looking at Moon Knight. And this review is a little bit different because we've already opened Moon Knight. We already know his deal. Uh, we got this one a couple years ago, I think, so he's already been out and played with and all that stuff. But we hadn't posted it on the channel, so we're doing that today. Are we capitalizing on the relevancy of Moon Knight in media now? Maybe. But you know what? More Moon Knight the better, I say. That's probably not what he would say, though. Today we are looking at Mezco's 112th Collective, Marvel's Moon Knight. And once again, I'm very sorry for my terrible, terrible voice. Just pretend I'm like Khonshu giving this review. Khonshu rates this figure. Five out of five idiots. So, Mezco's come with a stand. We know that. This one is pretty cool. It's just a crescent moon against a stark black background. Very shiny. And it's really simple, but I love the way it looks when he's standing on it. You know some stands kind of have a more uh, decorative aspect to them. This one's pretty simple, but I think that only works in his favor. And it also helps that it's mostly black. Really highlighting the whites in his costume. As for the figure himself, it's Moon Knight, but Mezcoified. Is that a word? <laughs> it should be. So Mezco's take on different characters that we've seen before is always really interesting, especially when they're not sticking to a certain media or a certain run entirely. And this Moon Knight is no different. I think he came out great. Some people might be a little put off because it's just a uh, guy in white, just all white. <laughs> but I really think they did a great job of adding different whites. I mean, it's not just this stark white you see right here. There's an off-white, a cream white in the bodysuit underneath. There's some iridescent whites at the um, sturdier parts of his costume, like the boots and the gauntlets. And you even get kind of a dirty silver some places. Like you've got those iridescents down here at the feet, but you've also got a light gray wash. That does give it kind of a dirtier appearance, but it also makes it stand out more. And I assume Moon Knight sometimes gets dirty. Why not? So like I said, we've got the bodysuit, which is made of fabric overlaying the figure. And these plates on top seem to be made of some kind of um, sturdy vinyl, maybe. But then moving down to the gauntlets and the boots, those are all plastic. The head is plastic, too. The cape is a fabric material. It seems to be like an imitation leather, which is an interesting choice for the Moon Knight cape. Then up at the hood, we've got that leather texture repeating. A lot more detailed than the cape because it's sculpted instead of natural. And that is hard plastic. Underneath the hood, his face is shrouded in kind of a dirty white, and we've got those bright blue eyes peeking out underneath the brows. It would help if I moved my fingers so you could actually see them. Before I even got this, I watched Floosh's review on it, and he brought up the really good point of how good it looks in a uh, partial shadow. It looks pretty stark just standing here in full light, but when you turn off some of the lights, get it in a situation where it's not in front of a glaring ring light. It looks really cool. Having this figure in partial shadow only makes it better. Which is weird to say, it's not an insult or anything, it's just the truth. It looks so good. Let's look at articulation really quick before moving on to the accessories. I just sound awful, don't I? I'm really sorry about that. Moon Knight <laughs> will not look up uh, great while this hood is on. He does have an alternate head, so when you put that on that will change some things, but for now um, not great. Same with looking down. Is it the hood that's tilting or is it his head? You might want to take off this hood. Yeah, articulation still isn't great when you take off the hood. Let's see. A little bit of tilt. Actually, a lot of tilt. Turn. Very nice. I definitely prefer him with the hood on because it just looks silly with his ear right here. It looks like his ears poke out a lot. Now, a thing you want to remember with Mesco's is that when it comes to the bodysuits, you want to be really careful posing because if you stretch too far, the bodysuit could tear, so I'm being pretty gentle about all this. So yeah, it seems to have typical Mezco movement. Bicep swivel, swivel on the arm, but that bodysuit is just going to get in the way, and you do not want to tear that. The elbow can't move up that much anyway because this gauntlet's in the way. But really nice range of motion on the hands, for sure. A little bit of crunch. Ooh, crunch back, but it's making me nervous. High kick to the side, not too bad. There seems to be a decent amount of stretch to the fabric in the knee. So you can get his knee back pretty good. Uh, once again, it's only hampered by his boot 
and his muscles. Limited movement on the ankle, it seems like. It doesn't really do much. They sculpted the bottoms of the shoes, though, and those look really cool. Another moon motif. I don't know why, but the crotch on ours seems to be, like, off-center. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. He got hit a few too many times, probably. Okay, uh, it's time to move on to accessories. It is worth noting also that in the package, he came with clips and wires for his cape, but I'm not going to bother with that. Listen, guys, I don't, I don't feel great. So, as usual, he comes with extra hands. Of particular note are these hands holding the moon rings? What do you call these? Throwing blades, but they're... That doesn't sound as catchy as moonering. Moonering, I'm just gonna say it. But then he comes with these hands with, like, spikes deployed. I don't think those are supposed to be moonering hands. I think they're just punching hands with spikes, which is just awful. You really do a lot of damage with that, I think. Got a hand holding a moonerang, and of course we have gripping and relaxed hands. We get an alternate Mark Spector head sculpt with his mask lifted up and a cowl to go down around his shoulders. And he is not having a good time, this guy. Pretty unhappy, beat up and bruised. That's a terrible black eye. The sculpt looks really good though. I love the hair peeking below the mask, the dark intensity of the eyes. The five o'clock shadow looks really good. We get a staff that is in keeping with that whole aesthetic, just white and silver. I don't want to say sparse on details, but not overly detailed. Very sharp, actually. There's this grappling hook baton with real chain, and it's along the lines of the staff. Same motif, same detail, same color finish. Also, very sharp. Nunchucks, also with a real chain, and also very sharp. And of course, a crescent blade. Very minimalist with detail like everything else, but I love this little stripe of silver and the white and these indentations along the side. Oh look, I fixed his crotch. I would be careful with this crescent blade because it is rigid plastic, also sharp, but that's not why I'm worried. I'm just worried that it would be easy to snap, so be gentle when you're sliding it in. That's what she said. Sorry. And of course, it comes with uh, this posable rod for the stand. We haven't needed that in this review. I normally like my figures to stand up without the aid of a stand, but this one is so nice. It just really completes the whole look to me, so I do not mind using that. So, I'm sorry this is kind of a weird and short review. I'm sorry that my voice is just terrible, but I thought since Moon Knight has become part of the gestalt as it were, that we should talk about the figure. I believe this has been sold out for a while on Mesco's website. I'm not sure it's sold out on Big Pad's toy store. Uh, I'm sure other places have it, though. You might be looking at something of a markup, though, because it's been out for a while, so there might be collectors selling it for a small profit. But also keep in mind that um, Marvel Legends is coming out with their Moonlight, and it looks great, and that will be a lot more affordable than a Mezco. So, thank you for watching. I'm sorry I sound like your drunk grandma. Likes and subscribes are very much appreciated. Comments are more than welcome, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Someone put me out of my misery now.